Hello YouTube, I'm here with a few more TTMs. Um, I did not expect to do another video this soon. Um, I got two in on Friday. I got one in on Saturday, which I'm only just now opening because I was out of town this weekend. Um, the first two, uh, I wasn't going to make any videos about it. I don't plan on making videos all the time, but the one I got in on Saturday kind of warranted a video. So while I'm at it, I'm going to go over the two from uh, Friday. Two from Friday were amazing to me, um, especially the second of the two, because it's a, one of my favorite performers of all time. Um, anyhow, I'll get to the third one in a second. So the first one from Friday, Office of Governor Jeb Bush. This assist took, let me see here, 26 days. This is an email success. Um, send to the 8x10. A lot of people have got this one. To Brent Jeb Bush. Very nice. The second one. Three uncanceled stamps. That's pretty cool. And it is from Jewel. Here is a, this is actually a bootleg CD that I found at a uh, local record store one time. I sent it. I didn't know if she would sign it, but she signed it. And I had two 8 by 10s and they were in there kind of like that. And she signed the first one that was on top. But not the second one. But I think it's because they were stuck together. Because when I first opened this package, I thought she only returned one of the 8 by 10s So that's probably what happened. But I'm really happy about that. Um, very, very cool. But here is what I look in the video for. Again, four uncancelled forever stamps. And this is from director Patrick Osborne. Oh, by the way, the Jewel success, it only took 12 days. Uh, that's amazing, to me at least. I could not believe it didn't take so long. Um, but Patrick Osborne is my next one. This one only took 20 days. Um, if you watched my video on John Carpenter, I didn't think anything would ever top that. That's incredible. John Carpenter um, was an amazing success. That's the first TTM that I ever sent out. But this one is the first one I ever sent out when I became a member of Star Tiger. Um, I requested the address. Somebody helped me. They they posted it. I sent out two 8x10s, a smaller picture, um, a couple of index cards, which he did not return, and I could care less about, or I couldn't care less about. And I sent him a picture of Betty, who is our Boston Terrier puppy. Uh, we rescued her from a local flea market one year ago, just about to this day. Uh, she had multiple health problems. Um, uh, I could go on and on. Heart murmur, worms. She got stoned by a wasp and she almost died from an allergic, an, uh, allergic reaction. She uh, had puppy mange. All kinds of different problems. So she ended up being healthy, she recovered, and um, the daycare that she goes to actually picked her to be on their billboard in town. And this is the picture that I sent Patrick Osborne um, for him to take a look at. Okay, sorry about that. I don't know if you could tell or not, but I had to pause the video for a quick second. Um, Clancy, our cat that we had here in the office, he wanted to get out, so I had to let him out really quick. Um, anyhow, Patrick Osborne is the director of Feast, 
the short film that recently won the um, animated short, best animated short at the Academy Awards this year. Uh, Feast was about a Boston Terrier named Winston. Um, and it aired before Big Hero 6 in theaters. So if any of you saw Big Hero 6 and was there, you know, for the previews and everything, all of you would have saw that short. It was awesome. We thought it was cute. Uh, me and my wife really liked it because, of course, Betty. Um, we just thought it was really cool. And it meant a lot to us. So here's the return. Again, this took 20 days. Again, this is just amazing to me. Um, I did not expect anything like this. I didn't even know for sure if I would ever hear back from this uh, attempt. First picture. I was sending this picture of Winston. He signed it, Patrick Osborne. Not only did he sign it, he wrote Betty's name on the dish in front of Winston. Really cool. One of the two 8x10s I sent. He, of course, signed it right there. He drew two sketches, one of Betty and one of Winston. It says, thanks, Betty and the Lumpkins. That's our last name. Patrick Osborne. Um, incredible. Second 8x10. Thanks so much, Lumpkin family. Patrick Osborne, again. Oh, forgot about that. Another little sketch over here. And then it gets to the really unexpected stuff. He wrote a letter. Um, I don't know if I should show all this or not. But it's on really cool cardstock. Made it look like a film reel. I guess I'll read it, um, at least part of it. Uh, dear Lumpkin family, thank you so much for your kind letter. So happy to hear that Betty overcame all of her challenges and made a full recovery. Feast started as a story about sharing meals with the people you love. It evolved as stories do into the story of Winston. Um, I, in the letter that I sent him, I asked if he had Boston's or if he was a fan of them. And he actually says here, I happen to be a fan of dash hounds myself, but Boston's were much more photogenic and fit our short better. Um, he says, super excited for Betty's billboard. She's very photogenic. It's clear to see why they would pick her. Cheers to happiness and health, Patrick Osborne, which he signed at the bottom. That's cool, but that's not the best thing about this success. Um, I didn't ask for anything like this. I didn't hint at it. Um, I didn't mention anything about it. The one he sent me as well. It doesn't look like much right now. Let me... He sent me one of the limited edition Feast collectible commemorative lithographs. I think they came in a pack of three. But he sent this to me. Not only did he send it to me, down here on the bottom. He sketched Betty as she is in the picture that I sent him. And again says, thanks, Lumpkins, with a big sin signature on the bottom, Patrick Osborne. Let's see if I can send this up and can get a good shot at it. Hold one second here. This will absolutely be framed and hanging in the office now. It 
is just amazing. I can't believe it. Never in a million years would I expect to have a success like this. And he returned this in 20 days. Other than John Carpenter, my first ever TTM. So that's it for now. Um, I have a lot more out. I have a lot more that's going out. I don't expect anything to top this anytime soon, if ever. Um, keep your eye on Patrick Osborne. He's going to be a big time player in Hollywood. Already an Oscar winner. He's going to be offering so much more in his career. Um, so I cannot wait to see what he has in store. So that's pretty much it for now. Um, I'll post another video when something more, you know, something interesting comes in again. But I, I had to share this one. Just incredible. So I will talk to you guys later. And thank you for watching. Bye.